Welcome back for the third video, video tutorial. So for this video, we are going to show you the process of um, set up active product for whatever you click over here as the active selections. And then it's going to move to the second page and show that active selection as the product detail as well. So in order to do this, okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I am going to um, add the clickable function, register clickable function for this containment over here. So what I need to do is because we have the um, for this as the column widgets, okay, this is column widgets, it doesn't have the click functions registration by itself. So we're gonna have to wrap that columns alternate uh, enter grab it with uh, widgets that we call ink well ink well now when we wrap this into ink well then you can register for on tab it's a function call so I just put anonymous function here and we say move to um, product detail page but before we move to product detail page then it's the good idea to Okay, set the uh, item as the active products. Okay, so in order to set item as active products, as you can see that we are accessing again another variable inside data store. If you visit the data store, I have made the calculation for this, right? So we cannot have access to this. And you can see, okay, if you want to have access to this, you have access to the getter function. Now this is to get. If you want to set or make changes, then we have to done it to another functions. So go ahead and come down. I'm just gonna leave this alone and we're gonna utilize this later on. But I'm going to implement a function called set active products. And it takes the product objects as the input. Okay, let's call P. And then define a this dot uh, active products. Sorry, this dot uh, active products. Or oh, you don't have to put the word this, okay? Because it's already inside this file, so you just put underscore active products equal to the p itself right here. Okay. Now um, that means when we go back to our product list page here, so this is how you say, hey store, could you please uh, set the active products? Okay, and the one that we want to set is basically coming from the item that you click. Okay, the item that you click is for sure gonna be coming from store, the products, and index. Okay, so that is to set up okay the product active products and we move to the second page. So the second in order to move to the second page. I have provided a snippet for you, line number 491 to 494. So let's copy this. And over here, this is just to say, hey navigator, could you please okay register the transition from yourself? So transition is done through the use of this widgets material page. Loot and we register the function call to open this. And instead of second screen, we are going to open product detail page. So go ahead and put product detail page. And we're gonna need to import this into this class as well. All right, now whenever this guy open up, okay, I want to show the product names along with the pictures, okay? So let's go ahead and put the pic uh, put the, uh, the, the tag first, one by one. So go to product detail, and inside containments over here, we are going to put, uh, let's put, so wrap this is instead of container let me put column column so this is the proof of concept I'm not going to put anything beautiful right now okay just to make it working so inside here is going to be students the first one is going to be picture pictures the second one is the name and then we're gonna put the price and then we, we're gonna put the the uh, container container with plus minus and quantity so that user can add things into the basket okay so let's start with the name so to make sure that when we click over here it's gonna pull out things so we're gonna put text 
Now to access to data from central location, we know that now from this process, we set up the active products to be the one that you click. Okay. So now to get access to active product that you click, same thing. So that is done through the use of these registrations. So we have to register this into the second page as well. So inside the functions, we register this listener. All right. Okay. Now with this registration, I come back here and then I can go ahead and say I want to access to the store and then get the active products and I want to see the name. All right. So let's put it this way. Save it. Now if I click on the first one, it's going to show mango with sticky rice. If I click on second one, it's going to show coconut sticky rice. As you can see, I did not pass the data. Okay, look at this. In the previous lab 6 and lab 5, you, you have witnessed that in, in order to show things from this one to another one, I have to pass those objects along as the parameter as the con with the constructor here. But for now, I don't have to do it. I just have to be able to go ahead and say, hey, now just work with the, with the store. We have the same listener name. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what name you want to use, but I keep it consistent so that's why I use the word store. Then you can access the store, any variable and any information as you like. So we're gonna continue with the price as well with text. All right, and then store active products dot price. But since price is um, in number, we're gonna have to turn it into text. All right, and it's a good idea to put uh, paddings between each one. So we have paddings. All right, save it. Now let's go back here. You can see that we have it right here. We also need to make sure that this one stay in the center. So I think we are talking about cross axis alignments, cross axis alignment dot center. So let's try again and see. Uh, I think we're going to have to wrap this into container to make this effect. Okay, let me remove this first okay and now we are going to put the picture at the top so go ahead and put pictures here so to have pictures we're gonna use uh, as I told you that I can use line number four five hundred to five hundred and six copy this okay and then control V and this one again we accessing the image from the active products so we can refer to store active products okay and then dot pick all right now let's go ahead and see this as you can see we got this one now we are going to implement plus minus button below but before that uh, I think I'm, I'm going to wrap this into a container see if I can put this into center um, okay how about if I okay put it into the another widget we just call align and then for the alignments I'm gonna have alignments alignments dot center all right here we go so we now get this one in the center good now I'm going to put this guy below okay so I think it might be a good idea to, you know, just to make it happen first. So I'm going to put it something below. So we're going to have the sided box here. So over here, I will have a sided box, sided box with the height of about 200 to make it look apart from each other. Okay. And then over here, we will implement the rows. So when we have rows, okay, and then inside the rows we have students, okay, and inside this I'm gonna have to implement icon. So if you look at the picture here, so show you a picture earlier that we should have. So let me open this one. So it's gonna be picture name price and then this sections. Okay, I'm not gonna make it exactly like this. Okay, just to make it happen. So now. I can go ahead and put icon first so we're gonna have icon button okay we're gonna have another icon button here and we're gonna have container 
okay let's go one by one now the first icon button then I can put icon with the icon constructors that I can put add right here and I can specify the color of the icon color dot green okay and for this one then I can go ahead and put icon icon constructors icon remove and the color of the icon is going to be color dot red one okay now for the container it's going to have the border with the text inside so let me go ahead and put a uh, child so the child is going to be the text and it's going to come from the store of the active products and we can have access to the QTY as well to string okay and another part is going to be the borders coming by using decollations so we're going to use block decollation for this for block decollation we put border and border dot all and then we put color color of um, sorry color color of let's go for um, gray one all right so this is my intention now so we should see something below so let me refresh this and go back to this as you can see now we got something similar to this okay all right now let me look at this more clearer so this is the column now the column here has um, implemented pictures okay um, to text and this guy stay below so I think I'm gonna have to wrap this into the containment as well um, let me put this into uh, containers then I can put the width the width of the container let's put 300 all right and then I'm going to put this as I'm not sure if this is possible but I think this is possible let me put uh, okay since this one is below and it's inside the column itself okay and um, I didn't see the border at all let me see what's going on I have container I have QT oh yeah container is there but I need to have container that wrap this together as well okay all together for this so that's why I should have the uh, decollations a box decollation as well and this one this container okay contain this whole thing here whole thing so container now can have decollation a border and then I have um, border dot all then I can put color color dot let's go for green for now all right so you can see that this is what I have now inside itself here you can see this is already center okay but this guy is not in the center so in the row let me put mean axis alignment dot center all right so we got this guy in the center good okay now what else whenever I click on the icon button okay I want to also change the value of the products in the basket so I want to add this into the basket so we're gonna have to go to the store and add the function to uh, implement the function in the store so that is allow us to make changes in the value of things inside this variable okay so we, we are going to do that in the next video tutorial thank you